I have a strong devotion to primary care and preventative care. Uh, I'm the type of person that wants to get to know my patients long term, and I enjoy having visits where I, we don't only talk about medical things, like I like to get to know patients, their families, um, what's good and what's bad, and um, kind of just get to know the patient as a whole because I think that it helps care um, in the long run. When I'm not in work, you can find me watching Philadelphia sports, meet diehard Eagles, uh, Phillies, Sixers fans, Flyers. And if I'm not watching sports, then you can find me fishing in some anybody water pretty much. There are not many other um, careers where people come to you in their most vulnerable state and then you kind of get people at, at their, their most true form um, and you get to help them through both good and bad times. So I think that's one of the things that really sparked my interest because I always would, when I would go to the doctor and I would feel like if say I was sick or I had something that was sensitive that I didn't want to talk with anybody else, I always felt comfortable talking with my physician through the years. So I've, I'm a huge proponent that even like, you know, you may be young and healthy, you should at least go to your yearly PCP appointment, um, even all, more often if you have some diseases that require monitoring. But I've most commonly, you know, every day I'll see diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure, asthma, um, dermatitis, um, very, I mean, a wide array, but I think they're the most common. I also have a interest in OMM, which is osteopathic manipulative medicine. Um, so I'm a DO, so I like to use my hands to kind of help with different musculoskeletal uh, complaints. I had this patient, intern year, he came in, he had clear, di clear symptoms of uh, diabetes. I checked an A1C and it, you know, it was like 15 or 16. Uh, so, we, he was very hesitant to start any type of medications. Uh, so each visit, it maybe took like three or four visits, we kind of broke it down. I got to know him, I got to know his family, and um, we talked about different ways like why it would be beneficial. Um, so eventually, over the course of my three years of the residency, um, we were able to get his A1C down to like 6.4, and he's currently off of insulin now and on oral pills. Unlike any other specialty, um, we have the time and the years and the, to really push home the screening and the preventative care, um, and, that's, and us focusing on that like, will really help um, save lives down the line.